This Sunday marks the conclusion of the second round of this year's NBA playoffs with a couple of pivotal Game 7s. In the East, Orlando defeated Boston Hanley on Thursday night. Dwight Howard came back after criticizing coach Stan Van Gundy's coaching strategy in a post-game 5 news conference by absconding the Celtics in a double-double performance. This sets the stage for a deciding game at the TD Bank McGadden. The Celtics have been here before. Boston just made it out of the first round in last year's run to the NBA title after being pushed to a full seven games against Atlanta. While this is a different season and a different opponent, the Celtics will be bringing their A game to the legendary parquet floor against a hungry Magic team. Orlando will be leading with the Howard while the Celtics will counter with Paul Pierce. Ray Allen had an abysmal performance in game sets, pulling off a rare O fur from downtown. Look for him to relocate his scoring times from, run, from long range on Sunday. Over in the West, the Alming Les Rockets forced a Game 7 on Thursday night by hanging the Lakers' 95 80 defeat at the Toyota Center. Luis Scola's double double and Aaron Brooks' 26 points helped power Houston to, in their victory. The series now shifts back to Los Angeles, where the Lakers are dominant. Kobe Bryant and the rest of the Lakers will attempt to make another trip to the conference final on Sunday and attempt not to miss out on closing the series for the fourth time in the past 19 games. The Rockets are hoping to pull off an up. Set. However, without Mangan, who's out for the season with a broken foot, and MIA Tracy McGrady not in the lineup, Houston will be in tough. Regardless of who wins on s- Sunday, the w- a well-rested Cleveland team and a surprising Denver squad will be waiting in the wings. I'm Deefman, and that's my view from the outside.